Hi, this is Josh, pharmacist with Learn Blood Sugar Testing. I'm going to talk about One Touch Varial Control Solution, what it is, and when to use it. I will also demonstrate how to use it for each of the three meters shown here. I'll show you on the Vario Reflect, the Vario Flex, as well as the regular One Touch Vario. What is Control Solution? It's simply a liquid that has a known concentration of sugar, and we use it to ensure that the meter and test strips are working properly. When to use control solution? The manufacturer recommends that you use it when you get a new vial of test strips. If you suspect there are issues with your meter or your strips, if you have some unexpected readings, or if the meter was dropped or damaged. Control solution available for the one touch vario meters are level three and level four. Those are the two levels available. The manufacturer says one or the other is fine, that you don't need both. You do want to record the discard date. The vials that I have had a six month discard date. So once you open them, you need to discard them in six months or by the expiration date, whichever is sooner. And you always want to be certain that you're using the control solution design for your specific meter. And when you're not using the control solution, always be sure to keep the lid tightly closed. Okay, so let's perform a control solution with the Vario Reflect meter. I'm going to use the level three control solution. You want to gently shake the vial. Then they recommend that you discard the first drop into a clean tissue. Then it recommends that you wipe the top of the container as well as the tip with a clean, damp cloth. Then you can apply a drop of the control solution to the top of the container. And we want to power on the meter by pressing the OK button. And then we want to arrow down to settings, press OK, and we want to arrow down to control test and press OK. And it's prompting us to insert a test strip. Insert that test strip. And we did apply that, and then it recommends holding it at a slight angle against the control solution till it fills, and then it's testing 122. Now this is level three. And if we look at our vial here, level three control solution between 102 and 138. So that is testing correctly it is in the middle of that range so those strips and the meter are working properly okay so let's do a control solution test for the vario flex to get started you of course you need your control solution the meter and the strips retrieve a strip place it into the meter when it's prompting for a drop of drop of blood you hold down the down arrow button until this C appears for control and we gently shake our control solution again we wipe away the first drop then we clean the top of the cap and the tip of the control solution with a clean damp cloth and then we put a drop of control solution on the cap and we hold our test strip up against the control solution. Wait for the results. 355. And if we look at level four control solution, should be between 298 and 403. So that is indicating the strips and meter are working properly. Okay, lastly, let's run a control test with the One Touch Vario. One Touch Vario, you just put in a strip as, we, as you normally do when you're testing your blood sugar. And it's 
pumping for the blood. So we take our control solution, gently shake it, wipe away the first drop. And then we take a clean, damp tissue and wipe both the top of the cap as well as the tip of the control solution bottle. And we apply control solution to the top of the cap. And we apply that just like we would blood. And there we go. And it indicates it recognizes that that is a control solution test. So that will not be included in your averages. This is level four. Level four, again, is between 298 and 403. 337 is in that range. Again, showing that the meter and test strips are testing as they should. So I hope you found this information useful. I'd appreciate it if you'd like this video and subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and ask any questions below in the comments if you happen to have them. Thanks again for watching.